Hit the homie and went straight to voice Probably fell asleep from all night blazing joints Hit the other homie trying to score a sack I said I need an ounce, she said you don't need more than that That ain't shit I got the bread for Bitch, bitch I hit the source, I don't cop from rec stores In the morning chief it then repeated, copy 10-4 All I roll is cones, bitch, caution wet floor The dispensary was closed, I was a minute late Beating on the door like, damn bro, can I get an A? Shit, I'm running out of options Thought I had the plug, but you just ripped it out the socket Damn, I need my drug, but hold up, I snapped some random chick that said she hustled her She said, meet me on the east side at the Thunderbird Drove so fast, I almost made the fucking bucket swerve she ain't even sure of them that struck a nerve I, I pick a weed every other week, trash day Now I'm picking up the crumbs from my last J Tryna roll up all the roaches in my ashtray Shit, I only had enough to fill it halfway Now shit, I smoke them with the neighbor, shit you never know He said it's loud, but that shit smell more like some Reginos Some oregano, I curve them like a section No, this urban mind's exceptional It's fertilized with turf inside the first try and let them know No stoner, come roll why, why am I getting a cold shoulder? I know growers is now homeowners Thought they had me covered like a comb over Shout out to my homies in the feds They got more strikes than a pro bowler And put it all out on the table No, no coaster, no coaster Rest in peace, the Lord infamous We mobbing, we moving the distances A problem for you if no dollars come through So we not gonna do the arithmetic ripping this bomb with no butt inside of it, I don't really wanna cheat that I'm trying to figure out where the trees at Telling me fuck, I don't need that, you can keep that Look, I ran out of people I know Not even a last resort And I check that I got just ain't gonna cut it like a plastic sport I hate being sober I just wanna get high The one time I need to buy some weed and everybody's dry Man, 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 listen. I don't know what the fuck going on. I got my guy Jay Mars in here. This is season three in this bitch. We got the mics and shit. You know, the, the audio's gonna sound a lot better this season. Um, I got my guy Bars. <laughs> and I got uh, my co-host, Big Special. Huh? So I gotta Take start out like this. Bars. bars, you just had a crazy project. I'm not sure if you guys have heard it. If you haven't, go check out Parkland. But he has a crazy project out right now that's really like, I feel like you took it there with this one because it's like, it's not like, this wouldn't be my favorite like in the club music, but you I feel like you made this album for a different reason. Can you kind of like elaborate on that? Like, because the music sounds like you're trying to tell a story and you're trying to, it's like some pain in there. Uh, well, uh, the Parkland album, uh, I lived in Parkland. Uh, I currently still live there, but lived in Parkland over 12 years of my life out here. You know, uh, had, you know, all sorts of crazy shit happening, you know what I'm saying? You got nothing but tweakers running around there. <laughs> you know, you got rival hoods living next to each That's other now, right. getting gent gentrified and shoved over in the park. Right. Um, yeah. And then, um, and then also, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know is 33% of the sex offenders registered in Washington State, the entire state, live in Parkland. Hold so, on. 33% of the entire state live in Parkland. Hey, let, 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 let's let speak on that. And as a father, I'm going to speak on that because so they're like purposely just shoving those type of motherfuckers in there, huh? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And hey, you know what that, hey, dope of you, my nigga. Hey, I think that's real dope of you to even stay up on that stack. Yeah, I mean, you know, we just, is she, she positive? Yeah, Start over. <laughs> no, no, Tom, he'll, he'll, he'll fix it, but that was crazy. I know Tom, he's hot. I know Tom's hot right now. He's just talking to me about this for this suit. Yeah. All right. Come on, man. They tell us to do that shit all the time. 
Right. You know, if you've been doing that. Yeah, they did. They Remember? Did last Remember? Yeah, they Come did on, that. Bobby. He wasn't even making no noise. How long you been? Have they been playing music this time? Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just only meant for a nigga. That's the devil, though. You know what I mean? I don't really uh, give that no energy. Because the devil, how you... You hear what I'm saying? He'll fuck our whole mood up, man. Damn. You want to start over? No, we don't got no, 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 no. That's this shit real. Talking. This shit authentic. All right. You know what I'm saying? My but shit is real. My shit is authentic. Yeah, they had the goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Before the music, hello, how? You know, I had to go tell him, turn that shit down, dude. Anyway, what was you guys talking about while I left? Bro, this, 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 this stat that he's been keeping in, up with in Parkland, how they uh, release all the registered sex offenders to that community. And I think that that's like some crazy planned shit to keep all the motherfuckers over there. So imagine how many families are over there. Military families are over there, too. You know, there's a lot of elementary schools so that, and so, shit. So that, that album you're touching on that, what else are you touching on? It's just like... Well, a lot of people think people think that parking is just like this little spot where it don't really matter, but it's really its own little world. But, uh, uh, I will say that, uh, you know, I didn't name it that, but I mean, if you really think about it, there's a parkland in every city in America. Okay. So, you know, so, you know a lot of people can um, relate on different levels, not just the local, you know, references, but, you know, the more worldly topics, uh, you know, uh, Talk about PTSD, talk about family members having uh, drug addictions, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about pawn shop culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you got a song talking about the behind my shop culture? Yeah, I have a song called Pawn Shop. It's on there? It's called Pawn Shop. And um, it's, it's coming from the perspective of uh, the guy that works at the pawn shop and seeing all different walks of life uh, come inside there. And uh, the first verse is like... Um, you know, a lady down on her luck. She got a pawn wedding ring because her husband's on dope. He's spending all his money at the casino and just fucking up. So she's actually she has to do that to to. Um, oh, that you lit it already, my fault. I put it out. I'm listening to you. Yeah. But um, I'm trying to learn something. It's uh, so the first verse is about uh, you know, uh, lady down on her luck, all that shit. The second verse is about somebody who's been coming in the pawn shop. He sees this dab break in there that he, he's been wanting for a lot while. He's saving his checks. You know what I'm he finally comes in and he buys it. And at the end of the first thing, he gets robbed. <laughs> okay. Don't tell him too much about the song. I, I like that. If, if there's three records on your album that you feel like if motherfuckers don't skip around, like, but they only can listen to three, like, skim listeners. Because there, you know, there's skin listeners that want to just hear specific things. Of course, uh, if you're more, question. if you're more into beats, like if you just want to hear a hot beat right away, PTSD, uh, South End, Mob. Mob is the one, and they don't they don't be confused because it don't even mean what you think it means. Yeah, no, it's not gangster shit. Was it after them dogs or something? No, no, no. It's it's just oh. well, we use a slang. It's like you know, Mob to the store. To the store. He, he's Mob. Okay. He made a song called Mob, no. but you know the way we use it in our lingo. You think like, he gonna be on some Mob shit? Yeah, you would think like by looking at because the title <laughs> of the song name is Mob, so you think he's about to do it. Most people do. Mob, right? PTSD, and what else? South End. South End. So the other three like must hear on there. Like yeah, if you want to, if you're like you really want to hear something hard hitting right away, I would say that. I feel like I want a video for Pawn Shop. You're the second person to say that this and, week. And, and and the reason why is because I'm just like envisioning of, of what you could do with it as, as that type of video. Hey, I t let me take back. So earlier before this shit started, I told uh, Bars to he needed to sign up, but I was gonna let him get for free because I fuck with him. Uh, for what? for my uh, blunt rolling classes every other third Wednesday. Oh, he's not nice? And No, he's nice. I, that's why I was taking it back. Oh, that's okay. why I thought that out okay. there, I'm taking it it's, back. It's hitting, oh, you was just fucking with him, huh? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I thought he wasn't nice. <coughs> but he's nice. The boy nice. But anyway, back to the shit, man. Got the Rainier hat on. So since we there, you got a fucking song called Rainier Fit. That Classic. if you ever do a remix, I'm letting you know right now. We did. What? Lost hey. all the files. <laughs> See, look what I'm gonna so say. Look, I didn't finish Mars. Look, this is what I was gonna say. So we're gonna act like I didn't say it. I'm about to say if you ever do a remix and I don't hear about it, that I'm not I'm not on it. I have I would have to do a J Mars disc. I won't really want to because I know you're gonna strike back right, but I would be forced to. So now let's talk about this right here finish shit. The remix. Who the fuck did you have on it? I mean, I, really I had twenty people on that song on the remix. I was at the From time. From Tacoma? 
well, okay, two people from Federal Way, just because they were still kind of two five three, and you know, still two five. Shout out to the Parker Brothers, so they were on the album. They were on it. Yeah, they, they were from Federal Way, uh, but everybody else was from Tacoma. I was just trying to unify Tacoma on one song because the song no. at the time was was it was buzzing. A lot of people were playing, it, and I was just like, I want everybody on. I try to reach out to you. I try to yeah. reach out to you and Ricky D. I think it's best trying to. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think I, at I, the I, time I, you were just you were just in the wind though. I probably you were. Oh uh, well, if this is anything before 2012, excuse me. Yeah, you was in. Yeah. 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 Now keep it real. This best Hollywood you try to charge you 750. Because somebody else told me you try to charge him 750, so I want to see. <laughs> You know what I'm no, saying? No, it's no, bad no. Did you like that too? I mean, he could charge them 750, but he didn't, you know, go verse for verse with them in the Salvation Army parking lot, uh-huh. 72nd and Portland Avenue either. What's up, where you at? Where you at? You guys go back like that? Yeah, we go back, man. Real yeah, shit. Bars, was, bars is one of the few first motherfuckers out here really rapping on that level for Tacoma hip hop local scene. You know, I, whether other motherfuckers might not have heard about it till later on, I don't know what they were doing, but I'm talking like that early 03, 04. 05. I remember Bars being around. You know what I'm saying? I met I met Bars through my guy Kyle Nelson too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out Kyle Nelson. I, I believe I believe you told me y'all went to school together or some shit. Yeah, I went to the Art Institute with him. Yeah. I dropped out of the Art Institute though. Waste of money. Finish. Waste of money. I mean, in my opinion. What were you taking up there? I was taking the same thing as him. Uh, audio, audio audio engineering. So yeah, how the fuck you get so nice then? Since you just you dropped out of school and shit. Well, first off, uh, Tom Faffel. I'll never forget this guy's name, Tom Faffel, engineer for Nirvana, Foo Fighters, the list goes on. Nope. Uh, so Tom Faffel sees me failing in his class. And he's like, shit pop up. And he's like, uh, uh, you know, he, he was like, you wanna know where my, my, uh, my top student's working right now after he graduates? And, and I'm, he was like, take a guess. And I was just like, oh, you know, like he's probably got an internship or, in LA and he was like no he works at the old spaghetti factory you know what I'm saying <laughs> and when he said that it just made me want to drop out I was just like why you said am sp- I here you did the salt spaghetti factory well he was basically just trying to say that you know this shit don't mean that like just because you have this degree doesn't mean you're automatically gonna get a job in this shit you know what I'm saying and I was just looking at it like I've learned what I need to know right now why am I you know why are we spending all this money uh, so you so you felt like okay I know enough to where I can take this shit and run with it, right? right. And I see your sound is immaculate. Like you, so tell me some things. I know, this is something I recently just found out about you. You mix and master music. That's not oh, not just your music. Oh no no, I, I master, master for people. I don't mix. You I, master. I master, uh, but put some respect on his name. He master. Fuck the mixing. Right. Issue. But I, I, so that was obviously what you was there for, anyways, in the Seattle Art Institute. Yeah. And that's what Kyle Nelson do too. Mm-hmm. So, who have you mastered some music for that we probably would have never guessed? I mastered some shit for Chris Crazy back in the day. I mastered a couple of his albums. For real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple of his albums? So, whole project. You Chris know what's funny? Every out time out you albums. mention uh, Bar's name around Chris Crazy, he'd be like, man, I love he use all He always used the word love. He say he loves you. He always says that. Real shit. He knows that. He says that. No, Chris is my guy, man. Me and Chris uh, definitely in the last two years have been through some crazy shit together. No pun intended. I already right, you know. I want to alley you that off the glass, but I feel like there's some, still some stuff going on like around that situation. It, it'll be on the album. It's going to be on the album. Time to charm. So, wow, the album. <laughs> That's why we're here. Wow, we, I, see, I got caught up because he got the dope best album. He just came out. But That's why we're really here. March 17th. Real shit. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, Leprechaun in the Hood. So, mm-hmm. it's called Leprechaun in the Hood. I thought it was called Third Talk to Charm. No, no, no. I say that on my on my last album. I said, uh, I said, coming out the exit, my room was good. I hit the tree so hard. You swear, you swear I'm getting lost in the woods. Uh, what did I say? Uh, damn, I forgot. Uh, no, I said, uh, I know you saw me coming up and never thought that I could. Uh, you, say I, you say I rap black, my hair is red, the Leprechaun in the Hood. You know, like, so, uh, you know, I don't know. People have been kind of running with that line lately and just like, oh, hey, man, you hey, you know what? So I'm just like, if, somebody, somebody, if you do a mixtape, if you do if you, you, do get mix tape, <laughs> you do, you got to give us that leprechaun in the hood mixtape. And I won't allow it. Like, if there's any, I will boycott. I will start the boycott for whatever goddamn. Is that dry? No. Dang. Hey, man, that video is dope. Is your video? You need to watch. You need to watch Drive. Hey, hey, who shot this video? I mean, I like that, but I see that you got you know damn near half a half a million views for this video. So 
I, I you know, what that's dope. Uh, 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 bars is called Dank. Yeah. Yeah, Dank. Yeah. The Come Correct shot that. Uh, they're doing big things. They just filmed two Rolling Loud festivals. Mm -hmm. uh, but Who's that was their first. Yeah. Are they from Parkland? Yeah, video? yeah, they're from Parkland. Really? Parkland? Originally. I mean, they, they do more work in Seattle now. They did shit with ETC. Okay, uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, they're I mean, doing hey, major shit now. You must got a wide ass fan base, my nigga. That's a lot of views, bro. Right, look, I'll look at some That's of the other shit. Yeah. yeah, like he, he kind of wavy. He, he kind of wavy. Now, anytime I'm sitting next to these dudes, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, that's what I'm doing while we sitting here. I'm, I'm, you I'm always checking them out. Right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't do that shit. That's what's special. Do special. Yeah, that's special my job. Yeah, yeah. Like, Tom, but like you got a little bit more experience at this shit, so you know. Nah, you good. Nice man. with it. Uh, Bar, so this is what I want to know, man. And I think a lot of people want to know this. Like, can you, can we, can we say that you probably founded um, Liquor Store Hustling? No. Are you with the CDs? No. Not the no. Oh, wait. You might be. No, 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 no. no, no. He doesn't huge. know that, but he is. If he's telling me that no. he's not, this no. is why. This no, is huge. No. They need to know this. So you telling me that you need four 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 found that. Uh, uh, You're dude, not one of the forefathers. A uh, dude. Well, I mean, I was there from the job. I, I was getting motherfuckers that came out before first? me starting to do it because they saw me. Uh, but no, this kid named Immaculate, who actually uh, produced some of the tracks on my Washingtonian album. Uh, he was the first person who came up with the idea of going and selling CDs to the liquor store. Because at the time, I was going to like 7-Eleven, the mall, and then I was thinking... You were selling your CDs? Yeah, my CDs, but also uh, other people too. I started you were selling, selling other... Hold on, hold on. I started selling other people's CDs that I was on, and then I, I eventually okay. you know, came out with my own. And, so before you had a yeah. CD of your own, you were selling other people's CDs? They, uh, Could you elaborate them. why though? Why sense. was you why was you selling it like it was yours? I'm trying to get his voice out. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I mean, even though I only had like a sixteen bar verse on one of them, I was just like, I'm on this, I gotta push it. You know what I'm saying? That's like, dope, bro. You we, know, hey, y'all hear that? We need more artists right. like you that. said. Just you said you was on a verse of this one of these projects, and you fucking sold it like it was yours. See, we need more people to be doing that. I don't feel like people push themselves that hard. Not like that. I, I don't know. Like it's a different, it's a different day and age too. Because a lot of people loving shit is organic. You know what I'm saying? Like you could tell when somebody bought their views. You know what I'm saying? By right. looking at the comments. You know what I'm saying? But it's like explain that. Okay, like if you see a music video, and this is how you know that they're funny. If you see a music video on YouTube, and they say they got a million views, yeah. right? And they got a hundred thumbs up and twenty thumbs down. No, that shit ain't real. Because if you had a million views, your ratio on that would probably be more like fifteen to twenty thousand thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? You're not. You're going. You're to not going to get a million just because it's a million views. Well, no, no. I'm saying you, you get, get like fifteen you're, to twenty percent more interaction. You're get, exactly. You're going to get more thumbs down and thumbs up if you have a million views. Here's the second reason: the comments are fake. They'll be like, "This is awesome." Yeah, yeah, they'll just be shit. <laughs> nigga, like, I can't like, fight this the nigga. The shirt bro. is a nice color. Or it'd be like, um, right. can't believe this new thread. Like, what? What the fuck? What are and if you read the comments <laughs> of the date video, what? I mean, they're trolling me tough. But you what? know what? They're watching okay. me. You're watching me for real. It's organic. So they're trolling so the fuck out of me on that What's video? your biggest record you think you got today? Like, since you've been, since you came out the gate? It could be so old. Like, when you, when you perform it, they, they know the words and shit. My biggest record is... Uh, called Dry. Uh, it, it is got it has garnered the most views on the internet, all organically. It hit, uh, I think it's at four million on Facebook. Um, YouTube, you like, you YouTube, like it's about half a million, like four seventy, yeah, something like, like, like that. You got like four hundred seventy thousand. Yeah, on YouTube and uh, on Spotify, it's uh, almost one hundred fifty k. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's big for what it is. Um, I can't say I did do a concert in Portland and people didn't know the fucking words. That was kind of crazy. How does that feel when they when the people actually yeah, say it? It makes far. you go harder. It, it makes you, you want to rap harder and just the energy transfer. I have a question. Do you rap people. over your uh, lyrics? Uh, recently I have just because. Sound uh, systems. No, no, no. Um, I was originally working with an engineer named Finnessy and uh, Finnessy right. moved to LA. And you know what I'm saying? I didn't have somebody available to hey take off the lyrics and leave just a beat. Normally though, no no verses, nothing over the verse. 
if you're an MC, and I like to say MC, not rapper, if you're an MC, you should be able to get up there by yourself mm -hmm. and rap that entire fucking verse. No, mm -hmm. no ad libs behind you. None of that. No, no. That's how you can tell who's just kind of there. So you so, don't karaoke. So yeah. you're saying so you don't do karaoke. Yeah, you know, uh, currently, unfortunately, uh, the last few shows have been karaoke. Some of my songs, some of them, like I say, three songs out of my last show set, I had to have vocals because I had no other choice. But okay. they're newer records, so I had to, you know, promote them. That's cool though, and and you can get the sound out better like that too if there's like a new record that I'm really familiar with. Yeah. I I, yeah. I just don't want to see it, you up there with every record. That's what I just hate when I go see no. somebody performing. They got every record. But anyway, let's get on. I, I want to know. I want to know from the town. Uh, who, who, who have you collabed with, and, and who and who are we going to be seeing you collab with coming up? Fuck from the town, from anywhere, who have you collabed with? Yeah, period. I know you got some big... Matter of fact, fuck that. You have to tell us this. You're here with me and Special Hold You Hostage. Give us one collab off that new album, that your major collab. And don't, I'm not with bars. I'm not going back and forth with you and acting like we don't know. Or There's one that you can tell us about right now that's clear and everything is good. Good promo know. for you. <laughs> Build some anticipation. Look, okay, Spash ready to, to hold tight right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, um... <laughs> Man, I mean, uh, fuck, we can leak it, fuck it. You know, hot tub time machine, go back in the past a little bit. Um, uh, I have uh, Crooked Eye on my record. Crooked Eye? Wow. Uh, AKA King Crooked. Thank you. Um, yeah, fuck the bars, man. So Crooked no, Eye. So last man, listen, that's, that's your first. You got, you got it. You got it. You got it. I like you got it. No one else got that shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, yeah. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing it, right. man, listen, is because, man, listen, your guys' show, you focus on lyrics a lot. So yeah. I'm just like, oh, I might as well Tell drop the name. That. I mean, Crooked Eye is one of my biggest influences. And you know what's I funny? Lyrics. And not like that, but uh, while we're on this topic, I do want to say, you know, Tone does this segment uh, for Man Listen where we we review the album. Would you be willing to let... We just did um, oh, really? Fatal. Fatal we, yeah, we, this is the only thing. We cool. review if you it. Track for track. We play right. song for song the whole album. It's while we smoke and, yeah. and we so give look, it. Yeah, look, yeah, it's, it's going to be real. And the only thing yeah. is, like, be, I don't want you to be mad at me after. Like, yeah, you know, fuck Tom. Fuck Tom. Here's the thing. I stood in front of that liquor store. Have a motherfucker say, I ain't shit on a daily basis. I listen to you, white boy. Fuck you. On everything you can think of. So you're not worried about. So my skin is too tough to to. But, but here's the thing: if you were to review my album and you say something that doesn't sound good in my ears, it doesn't really matter because it's your opinion. I want your opinion, so I'm prepared for whatever. You know, can you get on the pull up? Hold on. Can you get you on the pull up? You seen the pull ups? Yes. Can I get you on there? I'm ready. And hey, who do you think went off on the pull up so far? If you caught any. Uh. Don James went off. Ooh, yeah, Don James he went off. Uh, Tone went off. You did, you did go you off. Got my pull up. He, he was L Rock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I actually did. Off, For, you fooled me because I was thinking I was like, oh, he's uh, L Rock's about to rap. I was like, I want to see Tone do one in the whole fucking time. <laughs> he did what? Yeah, <laughs> it was it was lit. Not nah, um, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I I, I seen seen you see Jay Wesson's. Fuck no, I want to. Pull up. He was the number one, first one. Yeah. You know, you know where the pull-up came from? Mm -hmm. Just gonna be quick on it. The pull-up, J.U.S. is really the executive producer of the pull-up because we used to do this show called uh, Set the Bar, mm -hmm. and he wanted to bring it back. He was like, but we gotta make it for everybody because Set the Bar was just for him, so that's how the pull-up was going. But, uh, and can I ask him this question, <coughs> it, it, you know, on some real shit? Because I never got to... I've always wanted to ask a, 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 a white rapper this. Uh, is it? Do you feel like it's harder or is it easier for you Ooh, as an artist? That no, I always want to ask a great. Always, but I always want to ask a dope. But I want to ask a dope white rapper that though. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Not just any. You know, you know, you get these, you get these Rudy Pooh rappers who come and go, and they, you know, they jocking somebody else style. Like it, it, your style has been originated. It's here, and, it, and it's what you're gonna do. You know what I mean? Same with like M. Right. I see M. They, you know, y'all build the style and y'all hug that style, whether people hate it or love it. So I'm saying, is it easier or harder? Okay, I'm gonna be 100% real from my perspective. In 2005, when I was dibbling and dabbling out here locally, 
Yes, very hard to be a white rapper. Very hard to be, have to get respect. Way harder. Very hard because it wasn't like that. I was one of the only white people rapping out here. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So a yeah. lot of people they would they wouldn't fuck with me just because I was white. You know, and I had to prove myself. I had to keep going to Area 151. I had to keep going to Open Mic. I had to keep coming back to the same liquor you store. You said what? Well, you said what? I said, oh, I seen that bridge in my head. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's the bridge. So, so that's that time period. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we fast forward, and you know what? The whole time, sidebar, RZA predicted this shit. He was like, one day it's gonna be a bunch of us just fucking executive producing all a bunch of white rappers, right? Call it, right? So now there's several white rappers and singers that do do all this shit right now, uh-huh. and yes, yes, you are automatically going to be given more opportunities being white. You know what I'm saying? And that's a guilt that unfortunately I'm, you I'm, it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to live with. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I were to be selfish and only think of myself as an individual and not my race, I'd be like, fuck that, I worked hard for this, and everybody around me saw that. But, if we look at the bigger yes. perspective, fuck no, yeah, I'm going to get an opportunity that someone just as talented or more talented may not get. That's, I'm glad That's you said real, it, though. Nice I feel like somebody else might have came up here and lied, and I, I, I really respect you because I, I know you're telling the truth about that. Yeah. You wouldn't have just said, and the way you said it was too genuine. That's so deep. you, so with the project coming, is there any visuals coming? Uh, I'm still working on the visuals getting done for Parkland, so there's going to be a PTSD video, there's going to be a mob video for sure. Uh, I might do a video to the last song in there, a real controversial song. Uh, I'm actually uh, working with a nonprofit to get that funded. It's going to cost around 10, okay. 10 racks. For that video. But it's, it's deep, it's real big, it's going to hit home for me. You talked about even spending that much money. How, how old was you when you were? wrote your first rap. I feel like you invested some time in it. How old was I? I was in eighth grade. I wrote a story grade. rap. First rap, eighth Story grade. rap, lyrical murder. You was for school? No, I just wrote it. Was you telling rap. people that you was rapping? Not at all. You remember some of that rap? I know you did. I mean, five, <laughs> I remember in high school. I say I don't. I don't remember none of it. Like, uh, dude, I lost so much shit moving around. Like, fucking shit. Basements flooding and fucking... You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, and, like, didn't have it, you know? So, yeah. I lost hella shit. I lost hey, music, hey. notes. Oh, yeah. Another question I wanted to ask you, man, because, you know, you, you have been putting in work around here in this region for a while, you know what I mean? With the, you know, from the image to the audio, you know what I mean? So, I was going to ask you, what do you think it's going to really take for our uh, region to get on and get heard? The way, you know what I mean? The way the Atlantas and the LAs and the Miamis have been, get, have been getting on. I feel like that aesthetic doesn't just- exist no more. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember, I remember when St. Louis got on, they were signing the river from St. Louis. But it's like, now it's like the internet is your friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? Like, Those people I stopped here. thinking about, I stopped thinking about Tacoma. I mean, to be honest, Tacoma never really, as a whole, gave a fuck about what I do. Like, just if we're going to be all the way 100 about it. So I'm not going to fucking sit here and keep trying to do something with, with people that may not really give a fuck. Well, no, no, well, well, I wasn't, I wasn't shit. saying from oh, a... I, I, I fuck with Zach. No, no, I wasn't shit. saying from a, um, like, like, like a unified uh, pos- uh, spot. I'm talking about more for like, what, what is it going to take for the artist to break through from out here? The internet. You know, I'm going to say <clears> the, the internet. The internet. Yeah. Streams. Fucking... And, that, that's a thing. Because I've heard people, I'm not like, I've heard people come and like, when I ask that question, they be like, oh, we got to come together. And, oh. I, you know, and I never agree with that neither. I you hate that. You know the come together shit? I, I'll say, I, I never really spoke, but I'm going to say it publicly real quick. Right. I don't like the come together shit because the people who are Everybody working are themselves. already coming together. That's what people don't understand. Right. So the people that are saying that come together shit, they not in the mix. You ain't, work, you ain't in the mix to be coming together. Yeah. Because the pe- trust me, when I say this, <laughs> The people that are working, mm-hmm. they have already they've came already, together. They've already moved and moved. That's, 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 that's my that's stance real. on that. Man, that's real, Tom. I just don't feel... I hate Dang, Tom, that was a real that. answer, my nigga. We don't need to come to... No. There's yeah, levels, I don't like that either. We there's don't need to come together. That's not how this shit works. Because some motherfuckers are coming around just a piggy bank. With, some with people that, ain't working. You get to talking like that. Yeah, you look like this. Perfect example. That nigga wave Why he talking like that. You have a national act book, right? And then you put 10 openers on him, right? Eight of them are whack. Two of them are nice as fuck. They deserve the time. 
you buy a ticket. You're not a rapper. You're just buying a ticket. You see six weak ass motherfuckers on stage. <coughs> We're all unified. We're all good friends. That's a rap content. I don't want a part of those. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. So you see six weak motherfuckers, right? Mm. That seven dude's gonna be ill as fuck. Now I'm going to the bar. I'm, I'm done listening to He's right, yeah. And I'm gonna think every single motherfucker that's local yeah, that, sucks. That came out the night. Oh, you're, oh, nobody from Tacoma's tight. That, look, look, this yeah, is who yeah, they yeah. brought. Especially somebody like, oh, was, this is who they brought. He had a dope set. You're gonna be like, nah, I heard all that shit. What's your ass? Right, you're gonna you're yeah. gonna summarize the room. You are talking about rap contests? So look, no, do, I'm, do I'm you saying. like rap contests? Look, what you just mentioned, <laughs> ten rappers on a, at a, on a flyer or anything is is classified under Washington state law and rap code as rap contest. So okay, yeah, it is. So you don't <laughs> like rap contests? No, I don't. I'm not a fan either. You know why I'm mad? Why? About rap? Because people don't look at it as a, from a consumer standpoint. Like, no, a consumer doesn't want to go. And see that many people rapping. Nope. Because what you just said is true. Six out of ten for sure. It's gonna be trash. Yeah, and, and most of the, the time still. promoters promoters play people like they'll find you know a rich kid or something and be like yeah you want to open up yeah it's like a thousand and then they'll anybody. put them on anybody. They're anybody. not worried about money. the talent level. You know, and it's like why not? have two solid openers on there that are fucking dope as fuck and the headliner that's going to get those people if you ever work with them openers again to fucking come to that show because they see them they see them kill it with who they came to see yeah and it ain't oversaturated right what do you think but another thing too is like these artists got to be able to leave like when when your name's on a fire you got to be able to promote that show and bring at least whatever number of people out to this event the promo- a promoter's responsibility is to get, do what you can promote. No, no, but I'm saying. But the artist does need to hold some type of way. As an artist, if you ain't bringing t- 10 to 20 people, you shouldn't feel good. You should want to be paid. You got to somebody. <clears throat> so I'm going to say. Show you want to be Go ahead, boss. Say it. No, go ahead. I'm going to say this. I'm going to listen. I have a song on my album called The Opener, and it's all about this shit. Oh. Yeah, I'm call that over. Bars, what is there anything like any situations you had going on or anything you want to talk about on here? Like anything that somebody's might have asked you on the internet, you ain't really want to say nothing. Cause sometimes people want to give like one answer. What's the question you want to ask that you don't think I'm gonna answer? Uh, I don't really have any. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what I want to know? I, I do want to know this. <laughs> have you ever have you ever had any rap beefs that you had to respond to any rappers from here? Like they said your name on the record. You I don't never say you. anything about anybody locally on the record except for <laughs> Ill Will, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Damn, that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And that you was Ill Will too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was more Since just sport. You went to Silver Park together, my yeah, freshman year. Right. I keep forgetting you went to CP. Right, and he, you know, it, it was just more like a sport thing contest yeah, type of shit. Yeah, you know, and it was, it was some shit. Like it wasn't like real beef. You know what I'm saying? Like. A couple people dissed me, like, I can't remember. Now, I remember around that time, everybody was putting niggas' names in their songs and shit. I got dissed so by a couple hit niggas. Hit you, got the, you got dissed, too? Oh, tell them the Hitman hit story. Yeah, yeah. Tell them the Hitman story. Well, my Hitman, man, I seen Rest hit, in peace, I, rest in peace right. man. This is, this is a true story, real quick. I seen Hitman at a gas station. He was like, let me get a ride home. I'm like, boom, he hops in. On the way to the house that where I'm dropping him off at, he's playing his... Let me put the CD in. And he's playing a, a diss song he had to... This nigga from the town, this that nigga from the town, and then and then another song comes on. He's like, yeah, this is the song I had to you guy, you and your brother, you and Ricky D. <laughs> he turns that shit up. Oh, I'm, dri- I'm driving, hitting the blunt like that nigga is spitting that shit. Right. He's like, you feel me, special? I'm like, damn, my nigga, you extra hard. <laughs> he's like, he's going at everybody. So he- but I, I've been on him man on some deeper than music shit. So he was just like, he was fresh out. And he was just he's taking hungry. shots at everybody. He's hungry. He's hungry. Yeah, yeah, he was. I respected it. Like, we ended up like, getting some money together and all that. He called shit. us all out on that same mixtape. You got, yeah. you got hit too? Yeah. He, we he all got hit, my nigga. He played it. He played it for me. Did you hear Jay Bar's Bar this? You didn't hear Jay Bar's this? I probably did. I don't know real shit. I probably did. He just said our names. He didn't go like and have a verse about it. He just said our names on there. And he was just like, fuck them. And I was just like, oh shit. That's what, but the thing is, when I first heard it, I had a group of I had a group of people with me all in the car, and they're like, oh, shit. what are you gonna do? And I was laughing. I was like, I was like, damn, like, and, you know, I'm young. I was like, I made it. 
You know what I mean? Like, people are <laughs> dissing me now. Yeah, you know, niggas dissing me now. And, and it was just crazy. So I was never mad at it. And I battled him in parking lots. And I battled yeah, him that was that three era, times. Man. Like, three times. That's how it was. That was the era. People don't, people look, 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 on you people don't realize that. That's why yeah, when people yeah, ask me to battle, I'm like, man, I'm from that where you just had the battle right then and there. Right and it was going there. down like that. Like, that's and, how I have And it's kind of like if you know, you know. Like, there wasn't no, nobody was pulling out the camera phone. It just nah, it happen. was like, it was it was about to happen. You, uh, yeah. so look, anywhere. You know, anywhere. So, uh, what groups, you were, you were part of a group, a couple of groups. <laughs> I wasn't really in any groups. I, Man, you and Motor Mouth Jones. He lying. Look, he nah, nah, I'm not. I'm not. Him and Motor Mouth Jones was in a group. It was called Motor Mouth Jones and J Bar. <laughs> if you want to call that a group. Hey, Y'all honestly, I mean, honestly, I mean, it, it seemed Keep that real, way to me because I remember for years it was you and Motor Mouth, bro. Like, <coughs> real Motor shit. We together for a long amount of time. We were putting offers to come, man. I remember. We Did you want something different? What's that? Were you ever on something nope. different? No, uh, uh, shout out to them, though. Me and fucking A Bomb, everybody. What up, what up? Matter of fact, me and A Bomb got a record That's coming. Insane. You got a record with A Bomb? Yeah, A Bomb's a rap record. We got a record coming. Hell yeah, yeah, A Bomb, fuck. I fuck with A Bomb real tough, man. He's tight. He's you know what's crazy? KLE squad's tight in general. Something I don't even, even want to say, but before I heard A Bomb, I thought he was whack. Why? The name A Bomb. I didn't like it. I just didn't. You just didn't, I didn't like, like the name? I didn't like the name, so I was like, oh, man. And I seen him before. I said, "Oh, this dude no, is filthy." He's filthy. So no, he was filthy though. That's what I'm saying. But it was. I really originally I didn't like the name. It grew on me. I like it now. Hey, bro, no take it wrong. I was in really no rapper. groups though. I was in no groups. So I'm you and Mother Mouth Jones was I, never in a group. I mean, we tell never, the truth, bro. We never put an album. So the group we never put out, nothing, nothing out together. So we were just performing. It was so just shows. People thought it was a group. Okay, because I used to see hella flyers that said Mother Mouth Jones and Jay Mo. Yeah. Yeah, and we were doing shows together for a long time. We opened for Ice Cube, Snoop. The best show we ever did was for Method Man and Red Man, though. That was okay. loud. Did y'all smoke with them? Method Man. No, 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 fuck all that. How you gonna do a show? The crowd. They said, fuck that. They loved it. They loved it. They loved it. Everything. They ate that shit. Hey, did Mother Mouth do that? Uh, did, that did Mother Mouth do that? Nah, they didn't want that. It don't yeah, count. If that. he didn't do, yeah, did look, that. if he yeah, didn't we did do that. they didn't want that, the concert don't count. No, we did that. We did that. Hey, you don't know about that song, do you, Spud? Which one? That's a, that's a record. They did that. They didn't want that. that no, they, they don't, don't want that. They don't want that. No, you don't you remember that. I remember Mother Mouth shutting down the fucking spots. Everybody screaming that shit out when we were performing that. That shit was crazy, man. Bro, this is. I thought Motor Mouth. Let me tell you. Look, I don't want to make this, this about Motor Mouth, but I, I thought Motor Mouth was famous at one point in time because this is before I knew him. Then he was doing like uh, shows at the Y. Yeah. This nigga would come in with like 30 people. You know what I'm saying? Do the shows. It was popping up. You know what I'm right. saying? It was pop- I think it was. Was Motor Mouth so sick? Yeah. Yo. Ooh, yeah. Take it back. Man, man. It was so sick. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a young motherfucker, but I know I was there. You know what I'm saying? I was on the scene. No, yeah, Watermouth, oh, yeah, that, they were at Mount Tahoma. They were going to Mount Tahoma when that was going on, I think. There's you a lot were, of people. You were around too? But the first time I ever went with Watermouth Jones, I battled it. I was at a house party. That's how you met him? I was at a house party, and he said, I'll battle anybody that raps in here right now. So you, you felt the tail to I was like, but Ooh. here's the thing. I <laughs> just got done rapping for this crowd, you know what I'm saying? And then... He, it's literally like clockwork. Like he came in right after that. So you already gave bars. So uh, I was already in the ring at that point. You already there. So and there was no winner. There was no winner. Like no, literally the crowd wouldn't decide. Yeah. It, it was crazy. I remember but, when you used to rock the Second Family real tough too. Yeah, second Family, yeah. the original. What's second Family. Yeah, that one song. That, Shout out Second Family. I remember that. That's how Family that was five up. people. Huh? Second Family. Original Second Family though is. Uh, People don't even know is Don James. Oh well, yeah, he was. You know what? I see. I did some homework myself. on that shit not long ago, and I seen that. I was like, damn. I, I seen Don James in the first one. Oh, he just gave away Callie Reed's real name. Damn. Uh, I, I might take. I told it out. you I was gonna dish you on here, bro. I told you. <laughs> said, you said you got your name, bro. Wait for your album to come out, bro. Hey, Callie Reed got like four albums he's sitting on right now. Yeah, he does. Like for he real. really does. But he is him. Don James, uh, No Quest. Uh, I think he changed his name as well. No, Michael Donnell. That's who it is. And then, uh, oh my God, Gary, man. Oh, he was a savage. 
But honestly, man, like, dude, it was so long ago, man. It was so long ago. It was so long ago. But um, second family was five people. Family was. Yeah, it was five people. Nice nah, too. You do you have any rappers that you like? Uh, no, no, we already asked you that. You gave me a great answer, so I'm not gonna ask you about that. <laughs> the uh, the album though. Is there any producers from out here? I or produce uh, are you pretty producing? much the whole thing and co-production from uh, Trife. Oh, sorry. Oh, shout out to Trife, man. I ain't heard that name in a minute. No. Trife's been in the cut. Trife is about to... I can't, That's my I can't beat, too. Oh. I remember him from, like, the, that whole... I'll let, you, um, I'll let you hear it when it comes out. I remember that whole little 07, 06 era. And, and he was down there at Pacific Studios and shit, yeah, yeah, dropping beats, yeah. my nigga. Real yeah. talk, real shit. Hey, bars. So he he produced, bar. yeah, but he produced a few records. Before we get out of here, uh, yeah. where can they follow you at? Everywhere, Instagram. At what is it? Just B A R Z. Yeah, it's bars. I T S B A R Z. With the, Instagram. Exclamation point, right? Oh, you can't put that on Instagram. Though. So it's just it's bars. Yeah, on Instagram, yes. Uh, but honestly, if you just type in the word B A R Z on Google, uh, I'm on the first page. Oh, you're embedded. Oh, so just type in B A R Z. You want to follow me? Right. Uh, Make sure y'all follow me. Yeah. yeah. Man, listen, man, listen, man, listen, man, 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 listen.